then yes, my hair is exactly the same as it was in the other video and so is my outfit. Because I'm a terrible YouTuber and I don't feel like changing to make it seem like I don't record my videos in the same day, but really we all know that we all do it. So why pretend, okay? So this video was actually requested by a subscriber to do a desk tour. I recently just got my desk from Amazon. I'm so excited about it. I love this desk. It's perfect. The other desk that I had when I lived with my grandma, it was huge. You could not put it anywhere but in a corner of the room. It was like a catty cornered type desk. And it was just huge and big and terrible and it took up all the room. So I was like, moved in with my boyfriend, had to get another desk because this room's not quite as big as the other ones that I had and plus it just, it was too much for, you know, it was just too much. So, uh, she requested me to do a desk tour and journal supply video on the things that I use to do my journals. So, I'm gonna do that for her and, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get into the video I hope you like it okay so this is a shot of my entire desk right here and this is just the overall view of it of course I got the pictures up there a painting that my best friend painted for me of course laptop speakers and stuff like that so this is just an overall view for you Okay, so as I was saying, this is the overall view and everything. We actually have an HDMI cable that we hooked up to our TV so that anything that plays on either of our laptops will be shown on the TV. Then of course I have my chair, my to-do list on my board right there, and then my Victoria's Secret backpack with journals in it. Now starting right here, of course we have my lamp and my speakers, computer, and then going up, pictures and paintings from my best friend. She painted that for me. And then we come down and we have books. This is my favorite book ever. Timeless by Alexandra Monaire. And then of course Leah Michelle's book. A journal that I haven't used yet. And then another Leah Michelle book. Paper Towns and The Fault in Our Stars and then this is Timekeeper which is a sequel to this book right here. And then we just have some journals behind this. This stuff is used to like repair uh, scratches and stuff on CDs and DVDs. And then we have my tape dispenser and in here we have jump drives, white out tape, more tape. Then we have pens, highlighters, things like that. And then we have, uh, it's like a cell phone cleaner and then some more white out. And then we come down, have my pen holder with my little Care Bear and my scissors. Just papers and books and things like that. Uh, I actually have my high school diploma right here if I can get it out. High school diploma right there. And then my daily planner with all of my things that I have to do. And my new marker set. So that's the top and then moving down we have this uh, little slot where I put my old laptop in and then I have CD sleeves right here to make blank CDs and then down here is all these stories that I have written and then some binders and around the corner here we have my printer I know you can't see that but my printer's right there and then so yeah that's pretty but much yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for my desk tour. I'm sorry it's not uh, more exciting. I tried to consolidate it the best that I could because my old desk had too much stuff on it and it was just overwhelming. So yeah, that's pretty much it and I hope you enjoyed. So um, now I'm going to move on to the things that I use for journal supplies. Okay, so for my journal supplies part of this video, I have my journal that I'm currently using, which is this one right here, and I have emoji stickers and my new colored pens, 
And then of course just a regular pen and uh, some whiteout, which is all the supplies that I usually use. And I also use this book right here. Now, let me explain this book. Now, during our day-to-day -day lives, I have a full-time job. Sometimes I work five days a week, sometimes I work seven days a week, which causes it to be 12 in a row. So I, sometimes I come home, I'm tired, I have like laundry, dishes, things to do, so I might not have enough time to actually sit down and write what happened that day if something important happened. So I'll go onto my computer and um, I'll type up what happened if it's really important and I want to remember it or whatever. Uh, that's what my daily planner is also for because on each day you can make keywords like oh I had to do this today and I talked to this person and this person said this to me and then this this and this. So it's already made a note of in your daily planner. Then when you have some free time to actually type up the entries which this this method works really well for me. Uh, I really wish that I could sit down and just regularly write out, but I have a really busy schedule with the work, so I can't do that all the time. So basically I'll come to my computer, I will type up the entries, as you can see right here, and then I will print them out, put them in sheet protectors in this folder and designated folders for whatever you know journal they go with all the journals entries that are typed in this folder go with this particular journal and then I have other ones that go with different journals so I will then open up my journal and write in the entries that are typed in here I know it's kind of confusing but it works out for me and it keeps like helps me keep track of everything that way the entry is technically already written but it just needs to be copied into the actual journal and no I never used to do this before before I got this job I was actually able to sit down and say okay this is exactly what happened today but when you work with 12 days in a row there's not a lot of time to do that and I guess it would be kind of like a cheating way around it but this method just works for me and I love to keep track of things that happen in my life so that's basically how I do it and then the journal completely filled up and every page has an emoji on it it makes your journal not want to close because this one's completely filled up now it just these tags are for pictures that need to be inserted so, I just have to go back and put those pictures but it makes it kind of fat right here because there's so many stickers at the top so I'm thinking of maybe possibly not doing that anymore but that's what I used to do so basically that's all the supplies that I use to do my journal and that's my method and the way that I do it so I hope you enjoyed this and the girl that subscribed the subscriber that requested this I really hope that this um, was cool for you and you enjoyed it um, I would say your name but I'm not I don't know if you want me to um, if I'll talk to you after this video and I'll leave a, a link to her channel in the description if she would like me to if you guys want to follow her because she has a lot of journal videos and stuff like that so yeah that's basically it so thank you so much if you decided to watch this and stayed through the whole thing and thanks to the subscriber that requested it love you guys have a good day my stuff's falling down